seven worst foods for arthritis over age 50. Arthritis is one of the most common conditions that affect people over 50. It's also one of the most painful, but there are things you can do to ease your symptoms. If you're looking for a way to manage pain or just want to avoid experiencing any discomfort in your joints, here are the top seven worst foods for arthritis over age 50. Number one, gluten containing foods. Gluten containing foods such as wheat and barley can be very harmful to your joints. The protein found in these grains is called gluten and it causes inflammation. This inflammation can lead to arthritis. Gluten is a protein that is found in many foods. So gluten containing foods are not just limited to breads and pastas. If you've been diagnosed with arthritis over age 50, you may want to consider avoiding gluten containing foods completely. If you are unsure if a food contains gluten, check the label for any of the following words, wheat, rye, barley, or oats. When in doubt about whether or not a food contains gluten, don't eat it. You can replace gluten containing foods with alternatives such as quinoa, buckwheat, or almond flour. These substitutes may not taste exactly like their original counterparts, but they will provide much needed nutrients for healthy joints. Number two, foods high in salt. Foods high in salt are bad for your health, including your joints. The thing about salt is that it's used to flavor food and make it taste better, but too much of it can cause you to retain water, which can lead to swollen joints and other health problems. That's why it's important to be mindful of how much salt you're eating and drinking every day and make sure you're getting enough potassium from other sources like fruits and vegetables. If you're over 50, make sure to talk with your doctor about ways to reduce the amount of sodium in your diet and make sure your potassium levels are where they should be. Number three, certain vegetable oils. If you have arthritis, you're probably already well aware that certain foods are bad for you. But did you know that some of the worst offenders are vegetable oils? Vegetable oils are a problem because they contain high amounts of omega-6 fatty acids and low amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-6 fatty acids tend to promote inflammation while omega-3 fatty acids fight it. When the balance is off between two types of fats, your body can't properly respond to inflammation or other inflammatory signals in your body. This can lead to joint pain and stiffness, and even worse, it can make your joints more susceptible to damage from other sources like injury or surgery. So what should you be eating instead? Olive oil is one great option, but there are plenty more. Try avocado oil or macadamia nut oil instead of vegetable oils if possible. If a recipe calls for vegetable oil, replace it with one of these options instead and you'll be glad you did. Number four, processed meats. If you're over the age of 50, processed meats can make your arthritis worse because they contain nitrates, which are preservatives that can cause inflammation in your body. This inflammation can lead to chronic pain, which makes it harder for you to move around and exercise. Instead of eating lunch meat, sausages, hot dogs, and even canned meat, try eating natural meats instead of processed ones. Great options include organic chicken breast, lean sirloin steak, or organic turkey breast because they don't have all the additives and preservatives in them unlike other meats. You can also try fish if you're not allergic. Number five, avoid refined carbs. When you're over 50, it's important to avoid refined carbs. Refined carbohydrates are foods that have been stripped of their natural fiber and nutrients. When you eat these types of foods, they can lead to inflammation and spike in blood sugar levels. This can cause joint pain and stiffness, especially if you're already struggling with arthritis. In order to avoid this type of pain and discomfort, it's best to eat whole grains instead of refined ones. Whole grains contain more fiber than refined grains do, and fiber is something that helps lower blood sugar levels 
and reduce inflammation in the body. You'll also want to make sure there are plenty of fruits and vegetables in your diet because these are good sources of fiber as well. Number six, added sugars. Added sugars are easily the worst food for arthritis over age 50. This is because they are high in calories, low in nutrients, and can cause inflammation, which is no good if you want to keep your joints healthy. If you want to avoid added sugars, simply read the labels. Added sugars are often called added sugar or corn syrup on the ingredient list. Don't be fooled by words like organic cane sugar or evaporated cane juice, which have nearly the same amount of calories per serving as refined white sugar. Choose whole fruits instead of fruit juices or dried fruit with added sugars. Find natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup instead of artificial sweeteners like saccharin or aspartame. Number seven, alcohol. Alcohol is one of the worst offenders when it comes to joint pain. Alcohol causes dehydration, which leads to inflammation in your joints. It also increases inflammation throughout the body by lowering your immune system's ability to fight off foreign invaders like bacteria and viruses. And even though some liquors are fortified with vitamin C and E, they do not protect against arthritis. Instead, they actually increase the risk of cartilage damage because they're highly acidic and your cartilage needs a more alkaline environment. The best thing to do if you have arthritis is to avoid alcohol altogether. As an added bonus, avoid additives, artificial flavors, and colorings. If you're over 50 and have arthritis, there are some things you can do to help yourself. One of the most important things is to avoid additives, artificial flavors, and colorings in your diet. So let's briefly touch on why these are bad for your health and joints. Chemicals in our food can cause inflammation, and it's important to avoid them at all costs. This includes things like high fructose corn syrup, which is found in many processed foods, even ones you might not expect, like ketchup, salad dressing, and canned soups. Artificial colors are another chemical that can cause inflammation in your body. These include red 40, yellow 5, blue 1, and 2, which are also used in children's toys. Green three, the list goes on. Pretty weird, right? Unfortunately, these chemicals are also used in cosmetics. So if you're interested in avoiding them completely, don't forget to check the labels on your deodorant or shampoo as well. Taking charge of your diet is an important step in managing arthritis. The foods you eat can have a big impact on how much pain you experience as well as how well other treatments work. It's also important to keep in mind that some foods may interact with medications or supplements you're taking for joint inflammation. So be sure to consult with your doctor before making any changes. We hope this list has been helpful in helping you identify what to avoid and what to eat more of. And we hope that if you're suffering from arthritis or if you know someone who is, this information can help them as well. While there are many foods that are bad for arthritis over age 50, these seven are often overlooked. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more information about health tips over 50. Enjoy your day and I'll see you on the next video.